Hello everyone. This is exercise 4.3 question number 7. The difference of squares of two numbers is 180. The square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number. We don't know the larger number. Find the two numbers. As we don't know the larger number, let us consider it as x. So here I'll write down let larger number be x and what they are saying here the square of the smaller number so here i'll write down square of smaller number which is equal to 8 times the larger number so it is 8x that means what is the smaller number then we need to take the square root so here smaller number smaller number which is equal to under root 8x. Correct? Now according to the condition. So here according to the condition. Here. Now what is the condition? They said the difference of squares of two numbers. That means square of the larger number minus the square of the smaller number. Correct? So what is the larger number? x. So it is x square. Minus, there is a difference that means minus. We will do the subtraction. Square of the smaller number already given here. Square of the smaller number which is 8x. So, this is 8x which is equal to 180. Correct? Now, we will bring this 180 this side. So, here x square minus 8x minus 180 which is equal to 0. This is the quadratic equation in the standard form now. Now, we need to find out two factors whose product is minus 180 and sum is minus 8. See here, minus 180 is the product and sum is minus 8. So, I can write down 18 tens are 180 but I need the sum minus 8. So, what we will do? Minus 18 and plus 10. See, sum comes as minus 8 and the product comes as minus 180. As the coefficient of x square is 1, Directly looking at these numbers, I can write down the factors. How here? x minus 18 and here x plus 10 which is equal to 0. Correct. Now, x minus 18 equal to 0 and x plus 10 which is equal to 0. So, x which is equal to 18 and here x which is equal to minus 10. Correct. Now, if I take x equal to minus 10, so look at my smaller number. My smaller number is what? Root 8x. Value of x is minus 10 here. So, I will get the answer as root minus 80. So, whenever negative sign will be there inside the square root, that number is not real number. So, this is not the real one. Correct? So, this is imaginary number. So, we are not going to write down these imaginary numbers. So, value of x equal to minus 10 is invalid for our sum. Correct? So, which value we are going to take? We are going to take x equal to 18. Therefore, the larger number, larger number which is equal to 18. Now, we will find out the smaller number. Therefore, here smaller number which is equal to root 8x. x is what? 18 which is equal to root 144. 18 is 144. And when we take the square root of this 144, it is plus and minus 12. Okay, don't forget plus and minus 12. Therefore, the numbers are the numbers are 18 and 12 or 18 and minus 12. Correct? Because smaller number, see plus and minus 12 it is. So, larger number is fixed one which is 18 and smaller number may be 12, may be minus 12. Correct? I hope all of you understood this sum. Thank you.